Hello humans. Today's episode we're going to go over hip tightness, which is hip weakness, the theme of the video. Uh, we're going to get down to the root of uh, most cases in hip tightness. Um, what we notice through general uh, research and the last... Hello humans. Today's video we're going to go over the hip joint. Uh, the theme of the video will be hip tightness is hip weakness. Um, we're going to get down to the root of most hip tightness uh, cases, which is basically uh, hip weakness. Uh, these three exercises are been found to be pretty simple and effective in getting down to the root of the cause, which is hip weakness, uh, which is the cause of hip tightness. Um, the, the three exercises are simple. Um, and along the way, you will get strong, mobile, and flexible. So let's get started. Uh, they're very simple. You're going to lay on your back. Uh, you will need a ball for the first exercise. Um, and let's, let's, let's show you how the root of the cause is uh, basically your inability to make that muscle work. Um, the first exercise is on your back. The goal here is to learn how to move slowly make the psoas muscle which is your hip flexor muscle uh eccentrically uh, load so the position is you're on your back you have the ball you have hand contact you raise the knees or raise the feet off the ground uh, a couple things we want to make sure our ribs stay down so we're not elevating it this creates midline stability. We're going to avoid arching our low back and dropping our feet while we slowly extend our knee and back up. Don't let the feet drop. Avoid arching. Avoid elevating the ribs. And learn to eccentrically load the psoas muscle groups, major and minor. Teach the femur. Fighting gravity to extend. Along the way, you'll learn this relationship team with your hip joint, your lumbar spine, and your core muscle groups. You will engage the muscle by fighting gravity and going slow. Along the way, you will lengthen that muscle versus the old traditional way of consistently doing a half kneel. Uh, pelvic tuck stretching so avoid dropping avoid arching avoid elevating and learn to decelerate the femur make sure you're not holding your breath use a transverse abdominus bracing that's going to create midline stability take breaks as you need to ideally you want to go about 10, 15 repetitions per leg, which is about 20 or to 30 per, um, per, per, uh, per set, one or two sets. The second exercise requires a band. It's, uh, this is a red band, which is level two in the band, excuse me, in the band uh, resistance levels. We put it around our feet. It is the same setup, which is the supine dead bug positioning. Um, we're going to use gravity for the first exercise, which is eccentric. Now we're going to apply a little tension. So can I ask that muscle to go through what we just did, but with now with tension and trying to keep everything else. Like I mentioned, you're avoiding dropping the feet. So the setup is... Hands toward the ceiling, ribs are down, lumbar uh, stability, avoid arching, avoid dropping the feet. Now, can I keep one foot stable as I extend my knee? Control the ba band back. Hands in a, in, a, in a dead block positioning. One side is causing stability, femur, so as stability. Getting that muscle strong and engaging it. The other side is going through active range of motion. 
Avoid dropping the feet, change the exercise. Every time you drop the feet, you're using your hamstrings. We're trying to keep this angle to minimize quad work, minimize hamstring work, engage that psoas femur relationship. So this is the second exercise in the theme of the video. Hip tightness is hip weakness. These are my recommendations and they've been effective. 10 repetitions per side, 20 for total. It's not how fast you do this. It's about downloading the software cor uh, correctly so the hip tightness becomes, uh, well, hip tightness is hip weakness. So you will eliminate the root of the, the issue. Once you're able to do that for about a set or two, <clears throat> third exercise brings the ball back in. So now we're gonna focus on speed and conditioning. The setup is very, very simple. You're on your back, your feet are down, balls overhead, you're keeping the ribs down, lumbar back, and now can I lift the ball to, and pass it to my feet, touch the ground, back up. Fifteen, rep 15 repetitions is usually a good recommendation. You're teaching conditioning skills with greater range of motion of the femur, bigger strength responsibility of the psoas muscles. And that's the three part series to get rid of that hip tightness. One to two sets per exercise, and within a few days, or for within a few sessions of repeating this, hip tightness disappears. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys like the video. Send any comments, sec leave any topics in the comment section for future videos for, uh, for topics that you guys would like to see. Appreciate you guys watching and I hope you liked the video.